Hey there, car enthusiasts! Today, we're diving into the world of small plug-in hybrids. We've got a question from RN, a mid-70s driver looking for a smaller plug-in hybrid to replace their Hyundai i20. Let's see what our expert, Alex Robbins, has to say about this. Unfortunately, RN, there aren't any plug-in hybrids in the size you're after. The smallest ones available, like the Renault Captur E-Tech and Jeep Renegade 4XE, are slightly larger than your i20. But don't worry, we've got some alternative suggestions for you. Alex suggests considering a fully electric car instead. Your driving style, with trips ranging from 2 to 20 miles, is perfect for an EV. Even the shortest range EVs on the market can handle these shorter trips easily. Plus, if you have a place to charge up at home, it'll make your life with an EV much easier. Now, we know the charging infrastructure in the UK isn't perfect. But since you're interested in a plug-in hybrid, we assume you have access to home charging. This means you'll only need to rely on public charging for those rare longer trips. While EVs can be pricey, the same is true for plug-in hybrids. In fact, a Captur PHEV starts at a not inconsiderable £32,495, while a more affordable option like the Peugeot E208 is £31,745. So, the price difference isn't significant. Alex recommends checking out the Vauxhall Corsa Electric. It's essentially the same car as the Peugeot E208 but comes with more equipment. Its sensible interior layout also makes it easier to use. The starting price is slightly higher, but it's worth considering for the added features. Another option is the Fiat 500, with some models in the range priced below £30,000. However, do keep in mind that the rear seats can be a bit cramped if you often have full-sized passengers. Now, let's take a look at some of the top comments from our viewers. Some are skeptical about plug-in hybrids and recommend sticking with petrol or diesel cars. Others share their positive experiences with plug-in hybrids and emphasize their efficiency. While some viewers suggest sticking with your Hyundai i20 or getting a smaller petrol car, others argue that EVs are the way to go. They mention the lower running costs and the environmental benefits of electric vehicles. It's clear that there are differing opinions on the matter, and it ultimately comes down to personal preference and individual circumstances. So, RN, take these suggestions into consideration and decide what works best for you. That's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more automotive news and advice. And remember, keep on cruising!